Amani is getting married. Well, now we are now joined by Amani McGee Stafford. Unbelievable moment for you. That was this past weekend when your boyfriend, Paul Boyette Jr., who's a football player here at the University of Texas, asked you to marry him, and you said... I said yes. And, and there you have it. Take us through that day, the game plan. You finish the game, and then what happens? Um, we had family day, and my cousins, Annette Smith, and her family came, and my cousin had flew in from L.A. and surprised me. And his parents came down, and his brother-in-law, his brother and his sister-in-law, and like that was cool because like they never got to see me play, and I just thought everybody was just coming. It was a nice <laughs> game, you know. Like I'm gonna come see Monty play, you know, no big deal. And then coach went in a weird order to like introduce us all, and like Brady was like, "You can't go. You have to go last." And I just thought she was being normal, Brady, and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> and so when I finished introducing my family, coach was like, "Just stay up here for a second. And then like music came on, and he got up, and I just started freaking out. And I was like, there's something. And I just like backed up. And like apparently all my teammates figured it out because as soon as he stood up, they stood up and took out their phones and like got super excited. And then he just asked me if would I be his wife. And I said yes. And then my teammates tackled me. <laughs> they tackled you. Yes. That's their way of saying we approve. Yes. Congratulations. So what are the plans now as far as when the big date is? Um, we haven't really got that far. Um, I just know we're gonna do premarital counseling and like make sure because like we're both like athletes So we're probably gonna be going in different directions. Yeah, so try to figure out where we want to do and what we want to where we want to go and um, Probably after graduation, of course, because we want to finish school first and my family really wants me to get my degree before I become a wife So it's just really fun. Well, you told me that you met Paul on your first day on campus here at the University of Texas What did you think about him then? He wasn't my type at all <laughs> No <laughs> All my teammates were like, no, he's, he's so sweet. Like, NECA credits herself for being the matchmaker because she, really? set, she set up Jonathan and Brady. Okay. And she set us up. So, like, she credits herself for being a master matchmaker. And she was actually, like, more excited than I was. She cried. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it just worked out. Like, he was very persistent. And then, like, we became really good friends. And when school started, he asked me out. And I said, yes. Well, since you're going to wait, this is not as big of a decision for you. But we were thinking, you know, if you take his name next year and all of a sudden you are <laughs> Monty McGee Stafford Boyette, you're going to run out of room on the back of your jersey. So here's your jersey as it stands right now, 34. So we came up with some potential ways you could fit this all on the back of your jersey. You can squeeze it together and it looks like this. That's kind of hard to read, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's option number one. Let's show her option number two. You can go all the way around with McGee, Stafford, Boyette, or option number three, you can go two lines. <laughs> now, you don't see the two-liner a lot. What would you go with? What option here works for you? Um, well, if I'm still in school, I think I'll just have to reinvent myself and just go straight Boyette. I like it. I like it, and that saves space as well, so the jersey maker has less work <laughs> as well. So that is obviously an amazing moment for you, but it's also great to see you back on the court now. It's been nine games since coming back from injury. What has been the biggest hurdle for you to get to the point where you feel good about yourself on the court? I think now I'm starting to come back around and like I feel myself like with more confidence, but I think just everything was just confidence. Like a lot of my habits in terms of basketball, just knowing like I'm gonna run to this block and turn and shoot this way, they're over here, you know, like that type of stuff. Like I didn't just, it wasn't instinctual anymore. Like I had to think more. Well, it's been great to see you back. We see the production. Excited to sit, see Texas get back to the winning ways, but I think before we go, we need to see The Rock. Can you show everybody that? Can you just hold it up? Maybe maybe to one of these cameras here. Can we get a, a close-up of Paul Boyette's fantastic taste right there? <laughs> Out of way, Paul. Congratulations, Imani, to you and Paul. It's been unbelievable to watch you, you play. And that's one of those moments. You watch it, and you can't help but getting a little emotional.